I'm really glad you could join me today. This is a question that our firm faces all the time, the lawyers in our firm, because we, we do represent a lot of people on sexual assault. And the first thing, the question that, they, that our clients ask is, what are the odds of winning my case? Well, that's a really loaded question, but I can give you some general ideas about sexual assault cases. Generally, and not all sexual assault cases, it's a he said, she said type case. It's one person's word against the other, and there's very little other evidence to prove the case. Now, there are exceptions to every rule, but that's most sexual assault cases we do. And in that situation, given the burden of proof, the Crown has to prove a case in Canada beyond a reasonable doubt. That's a very heavy burden. I mean, the Crown has to prove, push the scales of justice all the way down beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not mathematical certainty, reasonable doubt, but it's far closer to mathematical certainty than it is to just mirror who's more likely telling the truth. So all the accused has to do is create a reasonable doubt in the mind of the judge or jury. And in many cases, that's quite doable. I mean, I, I, I will say this, on any he said, she said case, you basically start out with at least a 50% chance of winning. There's no question. Those odds can go up considerably in the hands of a skilled, experienced criminal lawyer who understands how to cross-examine properly and present a case properly and prepare a client to testify. We can often win these cases. Now, not every case is winnable. Every case is different. The real answer to any individual case, though, is we have to get a hold of the police reports, the complainant's statement, what she's saying or what he's saying, because there are, we, we represent women charged with sexual assault too. I mean, it could be a he said, he said, or she said, she said type case. There's no question. But let's face it, the, the majority of sexual assaults, assaults are perpetrated on, on women. So with that burden of proof, we, we, we go to trial and you're cross-examining the complainant. You're trying to create improbabilities, inconsistency between what she says or he said um, at the trial versus what they said in their statement to convince a judge or jury that there's reasonable doubt. And I'll tell you, a lot of these cases are winnable. We have a great track record of winning these cases. And I can tell you any good criminal lawyer in the province is gonna say, say the same thing, that the odds are, are generally fairly good of winning these type of cases. Now, in cases where there's other witnesses and, and things like that, some cases are not winnable. I mean, the accused might have given a confession. But the important thing is if you have an articulate client who maintains their innocence and they're properly prepared, I mean, their word alone in court can create a reasonable doubt. So if you have a complaint, let's, let's take an example. So say the complainant testifies and they're a very bright person, they remember the event very clearly and they come across great in court. Well, you might say, well, all, hey, all hope is lost. Well, no, because the, the accused, if they're prepared properly, which takes hours, to properly prepare a witness to face a, a skilled cross-examiner. If they come across well, they can create a reasonable doubt too. I say this to people, and this will sound very strange. Everyone comes across a different way in court. I mean, you could have someone who's completely telling the truth, but they're a terrible witness. They don't come across well. They don't have a good demeanor. They can't express themselves. They're not bright. They're not articulate. Conversely, you could have a person who's a complete liar, a sociopath or psychopath, who's used to lying and can come across very well, sound brilliantly. Unfortunately, in our criminal justice system, I can say this, and it'll sound sad, but it's the truth. Winning in court has very little to do with who's telling the truth. Let's say you have a complainant who's a great liar. She's made up the story. She has motives to lie, but she's just a high IQ person, articulate they can convince a judge that you're guilty. There's no question about that. Conversely, a, a person who's telling the truth might come across terribly. And so it's a sad reality that, you, look, we don't have a lie detector in court to determine it's, it's human frailty. We're having a judge assess you. But the bottom line with a sexual assault, if it's properly prepared on a he said, she said case, you always stand a reasonably good chance of winning, and, a, and particularly in the hands of a skilled and experienced criminal lawyer who's done a lot of sexual assault trials during the course of their career. So there you have it. Those are the odds of winning a basic case. It 
but it all boils down to really the facts of your particular case in order to give proper odds, which we do. We will we'll talk to the client about the strengths and weaknesses of a given case. And that really depends on the disclosure that, that we receive from the Crown. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.